In this video, I'm gonna show you one of the most consistent route combinations in this game to be able to beat man coverage, to be able to beat match coverage, to be able to beat 30 yard clouds. This is truly one of my favorite concepts. And if you're new to the channel, my name is Cody. We do videos like this every single day to help you become a better Madden player. Today, we're taking a look at the trips tight end formation out of the Detroit Lions offensive playbook. Got a really fun play today um, to break down for you and a really fun route that I think you're gonna have a lot of success with. Now, if you wanna learn my intent entire trips tied in offense i would really encourage you to join our patreon membership it is only ten dollars to sign up and by becoming a member you're going to get access to all of my madden 22 offensive and defensive strategy guides you'll also get access to our weekly pro tips where we kind of break down what the best um, of the best are doing in the game and why they're doing it and how uh, and what you can do about it So if you want to check that out, that'll be linked down in the description All you gotta do is click that link It'll take you right over to the membership and you can get it all checked out now Just want to show you real quick I've got 30 yard flat zones and I just want to show you one of my favorite absolute favorite concepts um, in this game and favorite routes and that is the play X spot and what makes this so good and again You can only find this in the Detroit Lions playbook um, so I'm just gonna set up a double Mabel coverage But what makes this route so good is actually a hidden motion that I'm gonna teach you today out of the trips tied in now As you can see right here. I have my trips tied in to the wide side of the field my trips my three receivers are to the wide side of the field and What we're going to do is I'll just show you real quick. So if I motion Lazard to the right, you're gonna see that He is going to go You know about I mean pretty far out there Okay now this is a wide side of the field only concept. It does work on the short side, but it's nowhere near as effective. But if you see here, if I, if I motion Lazard to the left, so I'm motioning to the side that the trips receivers are on, he's gonna go in a really cool spot right here, just outside of the numbers very advantageous and so this is a wide side setup that i have at a trip side end what i mean by that is again you want your trips to the wide side so let's say i was on the left hash mark if i was on the left hash mark i would mo i would flip my formation and then i would motion lazard to the trips receiver side not to the tight end side to the trips receiver side he's going to go into the perfect position to be able for this route to not only beat man but also to beat zone and i'm going to show you how it does against a double mabel look so how does this route work against double mabel and what are the other routes that you like to put on the field the best thing in my opinion or my favorite setup for this play is i like to block my tight end so that i have good pass protection if they're not blitzing you you can kind of you know use your judgment on that but i personally love to block my tight end I'm gonna then streak the slot, and that's my first read. If I can throw a slot seam streak, I'm gonna throw it every single time. So I have a seam streak to the slot. If, and then um, lastly, I'm gonna wheel my running back, and then this guy over here, you can leave on this route if you want to. It's actually really good against zone. Um, or you could put him on a drag, or you could put him on an in route or slant. That's all up to you. Um, and then what's really good about this is you'll see that this route, the triangle, once he kind of gets over the top right about there, you're gonna see that's a 30 yard cloud and it's getting wide open against this double Mabel look. And what makes this so good again, and I, I can't stress this enough, is his placement. Where he's actually at on the field allows him to run this route at kind of a, a unique um, depth and a unique getting, getting, getting nice width and um, just getting great spacing on this play. And then you also, if you see here, if I wait on this route, I wanna show you, you'll see here that I can actually throw this to the left, but you see how he stops right there? So you've gotta be a little bit careful. And again, that's the purpose, and that's the reason behind the, the um, trips motion, or, or motion him to uh, the trips side, okay? Now, the next thing that I wanna point out against zone coverage is let's say that they, you, they just say, you know what, I'm not gonna let you have that route. That's where we have some really good advantages with this formation. One of which being this quick throw to the seam. I can quick throw there. The other thing is you'll see here this dig will kind of split the zones and I can kind of just, you know, settle down right in the zones just like that, kind of pass lead it open um, against a lot of what people will do. So as you can see right there, really good effective concept. Now, another thing that I really like about this is they're going to have to kind of like you know pull back to the inside if you will whenever they're going to use her with that with that post what that will allow is this wheel um to the running back you're going to see right here there's really no one to guard it and it's an it's an aggressive catch to pass lead inside i want to lab this up but low ball pass lead inside and aggressive catch this and you're going to have a lot of success um against any zone and really any man coverage as well 
So they really can't use her this, but they kind of have to use her this is basically what I'm getting at. And then I want to show you one other thing with this, and that's this uh, spot route. So you might not like the spot route, but what I like to do with the spot route is I'm going to kind of like shift to the left here a little bit. And when the play breaks down, I'm just going to playmaker it to the right. And what you'll see is it comes all the way back across the field. And um, it can kind of be a great read for you, in my opinion, against zone coverage. Uh, also want to let you know they're dropping eight. Okay. Most people, you know, if they blitz me out of this, this is a lot easier to get stuff open, of course, because they just have less, less defenders. Um, but another thing that I really like to do, again, if their user is right here, and let's say they go to the right at the snap of the ball because they're trying to stump the post. This seam streak, especially in a double Mabel look or something like this, you're going to see here that I can throw this inside pass, like cut it off, and as you can see, it's going to get in a really unique position um, against this defense. Now, you might be wondering, how does this concept work against man-to-man? -man? Um, this concept's really good against man-to-man, -man, and this is really one of the keys that I found with this post route, is you want to let him set his feet um, it significantly makes it better. So you'll see here he gets this inside leverage. You want to throw it right on the cut. As you can see, you can cut it off and aggressive catch it. Now, of course, you're saying, as I'm thinking myself, that's where their user is going to be on the field. If, if that's what you're thinking, what's really cool about this route is it's, it's a multi-window route. Now, you can throw your wheel to the right. You've got your in route coming back across. Um, if there's no safety deep, this, this um, dude will get open a lot. But notice here real quick, now, again, Lazard has terrible route running, of course. I want to highlight that real quick, and he's going against their best player. But a lot of times, this route to Lazard will get open um, later on in the play. Now, we have other two other routes on the field that will be fine for us against this. The first one, of course, is the running back, just low ball inside. And as you can see, very consistent. If they're in any kind of man coverage, by and large, they're not going to leave the tight end unmanned up. And so a lot of times you're going to get that nice inside leverage um, with this because the tight end is, is, is blocking. Now, let's say that, you know, they're not blitzing and, 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 and all that. My recommendation, if they're not blitzing you, would be to run this little mesh concept like this to the left, have this little out route to the tight end, one of the better routes in the game for beating man. And then you'll see right here that now you've got just more space for Devonte to be able to work underneath um, to be able to make sure that you have something open so you can also um, do something like that and again i want to really highlight the in route is pretty decent you can if you if you want to in route or slant route him that's pretty decent against this um, if you're really concerned about man you might consider um, like a, a skinny post on the outside and then maybe a hitch underneath with a running back you know option route or something like that that that's a pretty decent little concept but what I'm, I'm I'm much more you know like this now if they drop a purple let's say they drop a zone over here a lot of times what will happen on this streak especially if they shade underneath is you see how they kind of run into each other this I'm telling you happens a lot more than you might think they have to have somebody vertical over the top of that seam streak. I'm just saying they have to have a deep third or something. They can't just, you know, it can't just be like cover zero. And we'll show you in a, a little bit of a different way here. So we're actually going to blitz this linebacker. And like I said, a lot of times this, this uh, seam streak, especially when you have this in route coming back behind it, they'll kind of cause these little random swap offs and bumps and all this. And you'll see that if you got a fast guy right there, that can be a pretty nice little dot over the top because they're shading underneath. And um, that's that's what makes this route so good. So that's another concept for man coverage. Um, and then the last thing I want to show you, I talked about the wheel, I talked about the in route. Um, so now they've got to do something like this. And now the whole middle of the field is back open for your uh, post to be able to work the whole middle of the field. So you can throw it on the cut and you'll see right here, I can throw it right about here or I can wait on it, wait on it, wait on it. And again, my guy's a little too slow for this, but a lot of times you'll be able to get an aggressive catch over the top, um, over the top of him, you know, pretty, pretty simply. Um, let me try to show you one more time here. So again, just your setup's real simple. If you want to try to motion snap him, you can. I will say I have found that the motion snap is, it's not good. And the reason why is because they just run the way the locomotion works on next gen on current gen the, the 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 motion snap is pretty decent but the way the game plays on next gen 
um, the locomotion actually causes like pretty significant problems. So anyways, here it is again. You'll see here the wheels open, the digs open, and then if you want to try to throw that, you know, you see, I mean, I've got, I've got the whatever, the double me thing or, or whatever. So that's, that's the issue, um, you know, but anyways, let me show you one more time here. And of course I could throw that on the brake too, by the way. So, I mean, I could throw that right when he cuts inside and, 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 and gets, gets separation on him. And then you'll see here the wheel, of course, and then the backside in, it's just a lot to guard one concept. Um, and you'll see here, Dreyer's kind of bagging me, but you see that I can get that aggressive catch kind of in there. And I'm just telling you, if you lab that a little bit, get some reps with that, you're going to find a lot of success with that route and uh, how it works against man to man. So thanks for watching the video. If you want to learn more about trips tied in, if you want to get the full trips tied in guide, or if you just want to get better at the game, I've got like literally 25 eBooks in our Patreon membership. Join our Patreon literally for one price of 10 bucks. You get everything. So as soon as you sign up, you literally get access to everything over there. Um, so if you want to check it out, there's a link in the description below and you can click on it just by scrolling down to the description of the video and uh, clicking that Patreon link. Thanks for watching. We'll see you guys next time.